What's going on you guys? Welcome back to EP09. Today, I'm going to introduce you guys to Nico Stallone, a new bodybuilder on the scene that everyone should be watching out for, and he hasn't even earned his pro card yet. Samson Dowda has a new secret to his continual progression, and Big Rami breaks the internet with a few actual update pictures, his first update pictures of his Arnold Classic prep. So we're going to start things off with Nico Stallone, a bodybuilder from Austria that's working on earning his pro card, who already has an insane physique. It's hard to believe he doesn't have his pro card already really, but I'll get into that in a second. This guy is currently weighing in around 97 kilograms or 214 pounds, so I don't know if he plans on competing in the 212 or continuing to put on size, but I do know that he has crazy proportions, he's got ridiculously round delts, he's not really missing anything, and he looks like his conditioning is improving. Nico is currently sitting about 9 weeks out from the Panada Fibo Pro, where he'll make another attempt for his pro card. He came in second place in the Muscle Contest Ireland in May of 2022, where he probably would have won that show if he was just in a bit better condition. Now I will say, he looks like he's starting to figure out his peak, you know, leading into this next show, and when he does, I think we could be looking at a great addition to the IFBB Pro ranks. We're going to keep our eye on this guy, best of luck to Nico at his upcoming show, and I'll keep you guys posted on his progress. There's a lot of really great competitors that are coming onto the scene lately, it's, it's really awesome to see. So, Samson Dowda continues to progress toward his peak week, and he's sitting about two and a half weeks out of the Arnold right now, and a week and a half until he travels to the States for the show. And Samson is looking better with every update we see. There's no doubt that this will be the best Samson Dowda that has ever been on stage. He'll definitely beat his Olympia physique. I mean, he's already beat his look from the 2022 Arnold Classic. Just look at the difference in the legs and the back thickness. Uh, Samson posted this picture this morning. Especially, you know, look through the traps and the rear delts. The rear delt size, it's night and day. You know, the feathering in the triceps. Just unbelievable difference overall. Samson and Milos have been working to do everything they can to manipulate as many variables as possible when it comes to diet, hard training, PEDs I'm sure, but I feel like posing is not something that anyone was worried about with Samson. Samson is a very artistic poser, he poses with purpose, he presents his physique better than most do in the pro ranks. But now, Samson is starting something that he says is going to help him improve on his posing even more. You know, I went on, um, obviously as you've seen yesterday, I went to the body alarming clinic, had a few work done that was definitely a necessity, definitely something that I needed to do. You know, it felt absolutely awesome to have not just my spine, hip and shoulder realigned to be to have that freedom in posing and feel that contraction in both my legs when I trained yesterday that I haven't felt in a long time. It felt really good. And I'm going to start implementing from this point moving forward, especially especially in the off-season when I start going up in weight and my body frame starts holding a lot more poundage than it is now. So look, lots of guys do this in the IFBB Pro League. Why is this significant right now? Well, I'll tell you why. As Samson enters less than three weeks out of the Arnold, He's found a way to feel better mentally, and, and look, I can't believe he wasn't doing this before, at least regularly, but anyway, being able to find a way to feel better mentally and physically at this point is huge at this stage of the game, especially since Samson was pretty much at his breaking point about a week and a half ago. Like I said in a previous video, with these updates from Samson that we've been seeing, the conversation has shifted from Nick Walker being the clear winner to Samson and Nick battling it out for first place. And, in my opinion, Andrew Jack possibly too, but I'll get to Andrew in another video. Now, of course, it's no surprise what Fuad's opinion is on this one. Samson is going to fucking win. But hey, you guys let me know down in the comments where you guys think Samson's going to place. So, while I was editing this video, I saw that Big Rami dropped a few new pictures on his Instagram. These are the first real physique updates that we've seen from Big Rami during his entire Arnold Classic prep, aside from his little dance video and Chad Nichols screenshot. So let's take a look. So in the side leg shot, Rami looks pretty dialed in. The hamstring is hanging, it's deep, cut, separated. I think, you know, overall, not a bad side leg considering, you know, it's just a mirror shot. So we figured that the side shots for Rami were going to be good. Those were his strongest at the Olympia as well, I feel. Now, looking at the back lat spread, I just, uh, I don't know you guys. I mean, yes, Rami is as wide as a host. There's no question there. And 
I do think this looks better than his back lat spread at the Olympia, but that could just be execution. I'm, I'm not really sure. But to put Big Rami's back lat spread up against the guy that I think is going to have the best back lat spread in the Arnold lineup, Justin Rodriguez, I just don't think it's necessarily as impressive as Justin's. I think Justin is more separated. Justin looks like he has more definition between each muscle group even. Uh, I, look, that could just be the lighting, but uh, I really don't know you guys. I'm not overly convinced that Big Rami is going to make a significant comeback based on these pictures. Now, with that being said, we haven't seen the legs from the front, and you can't really tell if the triceps are any better here, because the triceps were one of the biggest knocks on Big Rami during the Olympia. Are they improved? You just can't tell from this back lat spread. So I'm still holding out hope, but for now, I'm just still not sure. We'll see if Big Rami drops any more updates before the Arnold Classic. Anyway, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for tuning into EP09. Be sure to like and subscribe.